CBS 3 has live team coverage right now. Jasmine Peyute is live outside Jefferson Hospital in Center City. She's following what we've learned so far about the victims. But first, let's go to our Alicia Roberts live on South Street. She has the latest on the investigation and tough questions police are facing tonight about if more could have been done. Alicia, good evening. Joe, good evening to you. And officials will tell you the investigation still very preliminary. We saw detectives out here still gathering information and evidence today, Sunday afternoon. But every story we cover has a face. And I want to introduce you to Rusty. Rusty is one of the 11, you called yourself a victim, one of the 11 victims shot here last night. Rusty, how are you doing, first of all? I'm a very lucky victim. I got, uh, um, I, I, it just scraped the back of my knee, and while there was a lot of blood, I was able to uh, control it with pressure and such. And uh, I'm doing very well. I don't even have any pain or anything. It's bandaged. But uh, on some level, I'm just kind of in shock, I guess. I just uh, can't believe that this all, this all happened, you know. Rusty was telling me just a few moments ago you were standing at the music bar Dobbs just across the street. It was about 1130. Yeah. A large crowd was gathered and then everything happened in a moment. Kind of walk me through as you realized this was not like a normal Saturday night that you were here. Shots were being fired and something was terribly wrong. Well, I would say it was like a normal Saturday night, but there was a lot more people. Maybe it was uh, because they've been locked up so long, you know. But um, it was a big party until the shots fired. Oh, and those shots fired, what did you hear? How many? Well, I first thought it was firecrackers because it was a big party. Then I looked down at my leg and I saw all the blood coming down, you know. So, uh, so that I rushed inside. But when I got inside, I had heard that there was a man laying on the pavement. And I'm a registered nurse, so I ran out to make sure he was okay. I got there just in time for them to shove him in the back seat, the police. And I, from what I understand, he didn't make it. That man was two feet away from me. It could have been me just as easily. You know, just, that's what I can, you know, why me? You know? Just. Rusty, you said you wanted to tell your story tonight. You felt a certain responsibility to those that didn't make it, including the gentleman standing next to you. We thank you so much here. Oh, We're glad right. to hear that you're on your feet. And you said you didn't get yes. much sleep last night, I imagine. Not a lot, no. Very traumatic, but we yeah. are so grateful for you to be here and Absolutely. to tell your story. I'm yes. glad you are okay tonight.